Buenos dias, George Strait, write this down. We're getting ready for Dia of Cultura. It's going to be joining me here at 9 o'clock for the mañana. Wednesday morning, hump day Wednesday, March the 14th, 2018. I'm telling you, we're not live yet. We're going to go live, but we're not live yet. We're going to go live, though. How about them Spurs, eh? Finally, the Spurs won a game. Jeez, I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. I'm feeling lucky. Woo! Good morning, Mr. Leroy. How you doing, amigo? Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Good morning, Silvia Cervantes, Bustos, Minga, Martinez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Primo, oh, hello, Rivas. Good morning. Getting ready to go live. Oh, man, man. Yeah, we're going to go live right now. Here we go. There we go, George Trade, write this down. Good morning, Double R Radio, 807, Port of La Mañana, March the 14th, 2018. George Trade, write this down. I already said that, didn't I? Well, I'm going to say it again. That's what I'm going to do. Do not forget, coming up at 9 o'clock this morning, former lead singer of Culturas, D. Burles, is going to be joining me on my morning show. You do not want to miss out. Why is this song coming out? What the hell is the problem? There we go. I got it all situated. See, this is work, man. This isn't easy. This is work. It really, really is. Anyways, live on Facebook right now. Stop by and say hello. There we go, Domingo. Good morning, Chara. Good morning, Martinez. Good morning, good morning. Leroy or Basil Maravillas. Very good. How you doing, Leroy? Hopefully everything's going well, brother. Primo. Hello, Leroy. How you doing, Primo? Anyways, it's the, um, um, boom, 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 boom. Let's get to some news, man. Let's see what's going on out here. Check this out. Crazy story. Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Check this out. You know that roller coaster they call the Batman? Whatever it is, it goes all around, loop to loop, side to side, and all this other good stuff. Well, yesterday it got stuck. Well, there was several people that were riding the ride, and they ended up being stuck upside down. There you go. Last time I was stuck upside down was back in 78 in the backseat of my car with a girl, but we're not going to go there right now. But anyways, huh? That's not funny, Robert! Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, let's get back to the story. A ride at Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas, found themselves stuck in the air upside down Tuesday afternoon. Eh? Can you imagine hanging on top of a roller coaster upside down stuck? Man, they were stuck upside down for about 45 minutes. Well, and people were saying on the ground that they could see their tonsils, they could see their boobies, they could see a whole lot of stuff. From down there looking up there. Being stuck upside down for 45 minutes, I'm, that sounds like a lawsuit to me. It really, really does. Well, anyways, it's, uh, uh, all uh, riders were okay. They were brought down and everything was good to go. But being stuck upside down 45 minutes, I don't think so. I'm getting a hold of a lawyer. I really, really am. Now, check this out. Miami, Florida. A man stole his neighbor's peacock. Eh? <laughs> I didn't know you can have peacocks for um, for pets. Well, this man, well, I guess he had an eye for his neighbor's peacock. Forget the wife. He wanted the peacock. And he went over there in the middle of the night and stole a peacock and took him to his backyard. I think, you know what? No lie. There is a hotel here in San Antonio, downtown San Antonio, where the hotel, they've got peacocks as part of their aviance in their courtyard in the back. All true, man. All true. But some are older than others. Because they had two or three senior citizen peacocks, they were in wheelchairs. Little peacock, huh? That's not funny. That's not funny, Robert. Handicapped peacocks, not funny. Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. Anyways, it's there. Uh, so I don't know, man. I would feel weird staying at a hotel and hanging out in the courtyard, having a margarita, and watching peacocks walking back and forth, back and forth. I don't know, man. I feel like if I was in a senior citizen home, I don't think I'm ready for that. Anyways. Check this out. I stumbled across this story on the news the other day, and I totally forgot to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about this now. Um, a couple. Um, where, where, where are they from? Let me see. I'm going to give you the whole lowdown right now. A couple here in the United States. There we go. Actually, I take it back. A couple in Birmingham, England. What, what am I hearing? What the hell am I hearing? Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. I'm hearing something I don't want to hear. I'm hearing something I don't want to hear. I don't know what I'm hearing here. Um, okay, one second. Cayete. There you go. I was hearing a commercial here. Anyway, check this out. In England, a black man and a white woman had twins. And you're probably going, what's the big thing about that, Robert? You know, couples have twins every day. Here's the kicker with this one. They had twins, two girls. One was white, one was black. How crazy is that for a black, and you know, a black man... White woman, they're married, they had twins, they had two daughters. Now the two girls, one came out white, 
one came out black. Now the white girl has blue eyes and the whole works, you know, the whole enchilada. The black girl has, you know, little, you know, deals about, you know, about being a, a, black, a black ethnic, if we're going to call it that. But how crazy, what are the odds for a black man and a white woman to have twins for one, and then for the babies to be born, one black, one white? How crazy is that, right? Man! <laughs> if I were to be married to a black woman and we had kids like this, man, I'd go buy a lottery ticket. Today's my lucky day. No lie. <laughs> Anyways, it's a good morning. Shout out going out to uh, David Mata. Good morning, Janet Lopez Mauricio. How you doing, Janet? I was on the South Side yesterday. South Side. David Mata, good morning. Patty goes first. Good morning. Orlando Herrera, good morning. Doris Flores, good morning. Patty goes, hey, how about them Spurs? Finally won a game, right? Good morning, shout out to Gloria Maldonado. Good morning, Virginia Coy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, it is Wednesday morning. We're getting ready for a big interview. Why am I hearing this song again? What the hell's going on around here, man? Anyways, do not forget, 9 o'clock this morning, join me with D. Burleson of Culturas. It's going to be joining me on my morning show. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your enemies, tell everybody you know to join me. Double R Radio Morning Show, 9 o'clock this morning. D. Burleson of Culturas. Let's get it going. Let's listen by Curtis Blow. These are the breaks. Good morning. Radio station acting up this morning. I hate when it does this. See, this isn't easy, man. What I'm doing isn't easy. Anyways, so the radio station is going and we can talk here a little bit. You know, right now, no lie. No lie, I'm doing the radio show. Okay, I'm talking to you guys. I'm washing clothes. I'm washing dishes. I'm dusting. I still got to go upstairs to clean the restroom. I'm doing all of this while doing the morning show. A man of all trades, right? Jack of all trades, whatever you want to call it. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me right now, robertweaversradio.com. Click on the little blue button that says mobile app. Click here. Join me in the morning show. 9 o'clock, D. Burleson of Golduras. Let's get to the morning show.